Hey, AJ is in the building. A special good morning. Dion Parson is here as well. The legendary drummer, the Grammy Award winning drummer, the drummy of all drummies is in the building. Yeah. Alongside AJ Ventura, who also plays the drums. Good all morning, right. good morning, good morning. He didn't want to play yesterday, though. I got up to Are you like, kidding? AJ, you got it. He's like, nah, man, I'm, I'm good. I'm good. Right, right. Listen, right, let me, let me right. tell you something about people who are good at what they do. <laughs> they will set up other people who are good at what they do <laughs> so they can look better at what they do. That's genius. That is genius. <laughs> I would have invited you to play too. <laughs> so I got you guys in the building because you're doing something very special today. What's happening tonight and tomorrow? Uh, well, tonight we have a uh, well, good morning to the listening audience. First of all, good morning to everyone. Good morning. And um, tonight we are doing a special uh, concert, uh, the Parson 21st Century Band at the Pride Jolly Hall, which is located at Antilles School. And we're doing a celebration of the life and works of Mr. Natafa Romaine, <coughs> our dear friend who, um, who left us last month. So um, Tafa was very instrumental in documenting the work that we've been doing with United Jazz Foundation with our students and... Uh, um, a lot of the music that we've done, he's traveled with the band. And then, and, and, you know, his most um, uh, notable works is uh, the VI Ambassadors. So, yes, sir. Yes. So the first part of the concert tonight is dedicated to his life. And then after that, we're going to just, you know, have a great time, play some music with uh, the Empire Center 21st Century Band and releasing this new song. This is a world premiere yeah. featuring... Uh, our good friend is AJ Ventura. Mr. Way Too yes. Sexy. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Yeah. All right, now, Mr. Boston, I, I, I don't know if you're aware, but uh, you got to be very special for your name to be the name ahead of all of those special people in your 21st century. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, congratulations. Did everybody make it back? Uh, well, Rashawn didn't make it. Oh. Yeah, Rashawn, you know, Dave Matthews. That's family. okay. He's, yeah, That's he's okay. doing his thing. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> this is actually his trumpet. I can fill in tonight. Oh, you can fill in tonight? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I got okay. It. I got right. it. I, I, I'll let you know, um, you know. we. I mean, we got it covered, but I'll let you know. Are you, you sure? Know. Yeah, I don't want to say... I don't, don't want to really set you up, you know. I, 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 you know. Let me tell you something. I'm going to charge you way less than Rashad. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, man, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. But, yeah, Rashad didn't make it, and unfortunately, Ron Blake didn't make okay. it because of uh, SNL and the strict policies. You okay, know. You, whoa, whoa, whoa. You, yeah. you can't just throw out SNL. Saturday Night Saturday Live. Saturday Night Live, yes. All right, there you yes, go. Yes, yes. So, uh, <laughs> but uh, we have Melvin Jones on uh -huh. trumpet, who's uh, a dear friend. Melvin is part of our United Jazz Foundation. He's been coming here for the past, you know, six years, yeah. um, working with the students, maybe eight years. Um, and he's actually a Tyler. He just played a rock and roll um, inductee Hall of Fame special this week. He just oh, played he did? something okay. in that. And he's, right. uh, he's been with Tyler Perry for many, many years, awesome. doing all the Tyler's plays and stuff like that. And then a saxophone, our good friend, um, David Sanchez, who's okay. from Puerto Rico. I met David in 1988 at Rutgers University. And David is part of the SF Jazz, San Francisco Jazz Collective, that yeah. they have that big jazz uh, project out there. Right. He's a tenor sax player in that group. Nice. Um, so he's joined us. He just flew in yesterday. It's a great band, man. I mean, you know, it's amazing, man. And then the audition with uh, AJ, this, this is uh, our... Uh, vocalist that's coming to uh, sing with us tonight and sing the VI Smiles with me. So we're you couldn't very find excited. anybody better. <laughs> we, you know, we 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 we, uh, we 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 just did one one audition and he was it. You know, oh, okay. so uh, right. he he got the job. Uh, he was actually recommended by uh, Kevin Hendricks, who okay. um, you know when I started working on the song, we reached out to Kevin and Kevin was like, man. I got a perfect singer for you, and this is my right hand man. I said, "Cool, bring him on board." Yeah. Yeah, there was no questions asked. Okay. And AJ just stepped in, and you know the rest is history, man. Amazing talent, bro. Yeah, amazing. Oh, really? Amazing talent. Really, say, really man, amazing. We, we have so much talent here in the VI, man. That's one of the reasons I moved back. I, you know, I'm, I'm just always surprised of you know when I meet what's, what's around here. What's huh? around? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's just a matter of you know nurturing it the right way. So when you know, folks leave here. You know, they have the, the tools that they need to just be proficient. That's, right. that's the key. To yeah, the proficient. tools are necessary. Tools are necessary. Yeah. So, uh, But, man, we're so excited to have AJ on board, man. He came, came in yesterday and nailed it. 
Did he? Yeah, man. He did. He did. He did. He did. (laughs) (laughs) So, AJ, man, what what, what was it like? And and initially, I mean, you're from a whole different generation. Um, Don't really know you to be a jazz aficionado. Just know you to be a brilliant musician. Yeah. How did it feel when you got a phone call from Dion Parson? Yeah, I mean, did it register? Did you realize what was happening? Really, because I mean, you know the name, but you know that's one of the phone calls that you always look forward to as yeah. a musician. You know, phone calls like that. Um, you know, and growing up gigging jazz with like Mr. Thomas them and so on. Right, Island, right, right, right. I mean, it was just kind of second nature to kind of fall in, you know, okay. and you know, just not to move within the circle and you know fit in musically. But um, as yeah, I mean, you know, game phone calls like that, you know, that's you know, calls like that's what you ask God for, for right. sure, right. Yeah. <laughs> definitely. All right, now here's the thing, right, uh, Mr. Parson? So AJ, mm-hmm. supposed to be releasing an album with me, okay, for a few months now. Right. Yeah. right. Nobody's counting. Nobody. <laughs> He didn't show up until you called. <laughs> <laughs> like, I just... <laughs> I know where I stand in life. <laughs> hey, we get inspired in different ways. You know? So, you, know, you know, we get those messages, you know. Right. Oh, like, you know, they say, you know. Yeah, that's great, though, man. You know, he's here. Yeah, he's, he's here. here. He's, he's here, and you yeah. brought him here. Just to yeah. be fair, the album ain't out yet, either. So, yeah. Yeah, uh, good excuse. <laughs> All right, now, um... <laughs> okay, just wanted to make sure who, whose name was on this track. This is Dion Parson. So, Dion Parson, this is like your DJ Khaled moment. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> we got uh, Dion Parson and AJ Ventura. Who, who all played on this this record? Uh, this is the band. This is, uh, um, I wrote, composed all the music. Um, AJ, of course, is the guest vocalist. Uh, Kevry Hendricks did the production and AJ co-produ- co-produced it. Rashawn did the horns, so Rashawn Ross is on horns. Victor Provost is on steel pan. Uh, Ron Blake is on tennis saxophone. And Kevre did a number of things. Kevre's playing keyboards. Wow. He's playing bass. I play French horn. Mm. And um, Steve is on guitar. Yeah, Steve Katz. Yeah. Steve Katz from, okay. uh, from St. Croix. Oh, dope. It's, oh, a, really? it's a whole VI wow. coll- uh, yeah, yeah. Co- uh, collaboration. That's and, nice. And it was engineered and um, mixed and mastered by the great Dean Pond. Listen. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> All VI, bro. Okay. All VI. I would like to thank all of you for coming today. (laughs) There's no reason to play the record. I know how good it sounds. Uh, Listen. Oh, wow. That's an all-star cast. Yeah. Have you ever worked with Dean Pond before? I've never. Well, yes, I have. One time. Okay. One time. When when, uh, Tourism did that that concert over in... uh, Yacht Haven Grand by Five Turtles. Uh. Dean was part of that, yeah. Okay. Yeah, but actually, we met, we knew of each other because Dean, another drummer. All right, of course. So I was going to St. Croix on a trip and um, we both wanted to play and we talked and I was getting ready to do some workshops and clinics at, at um, on St. Croix at Education Complex. Uh-huh. And by the time I showed up, I told him about it, by the time I showed up to the school at 8 o'clock the next morning, Dean was already there. I'm like, I'm here for my lesson, bro. You know, <laughs> and we, you know, we talked and, you know, we talked about different things. I was actually trying to get Dean on board at UVI because right. when we started our music industry certificate yeah. program in engineering, I was really trying to get him to be part of that. But, you know, his schedule yeah, is his so schedule demanding. schedule is crazy. Man. It's so demanding. But, yeah. um, no, he's, he's amazing, man. He stepped in. He knew. You know, the, the beautiful thing about this project, everybody knew what, what needed to be done. Right. I mean, we talked about certain things and you know, instrumentation and arrangements, but, you know, everybody's part of me. Like, I sent the lyrics to AJ, and he was like, yo, man, you mind if I made some changes? I'm like, go for it. And what he brought back, I was like, wow, I, I would have never even thought about that. <laughs> yeah, he but, ain't stupid. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you <laughs> you know, try to get some writing credit. Exactly, you know. <laughs> and the same, the same thing with Dean, you know. It's, well, it's, he changed five words. <laughs> <laughs> Two commas. <laughs> right. No, but, you know, it, it, it really, this was a really great project. And it happened during COVID. Yeah. Everybody was in that part of the world. Right. And it just it just came together, man. It was really amazing, and it, it came out it came out of a conversation with the Department of Tourism, 
um, Mr. Joe Bashota and I had a number of conversations and he was talking about rebranding tourism and, uh -huh. and the new logo, Reconnect with Paradise, and they wanted a song with a feel. The feel was the big thing. Right. So there was a couple songs, he's like, man, check this one out and check this one out. So we really vibed on the feel of a number of songs and started with that. And then the lyrics came from the Virgin Island Smiles with me. Just came from me traveling and you know for now many years. What about years. the title? The title yeah, itself. Yeah, it's just traveling for many years. You know, man, you travel. You, you know, you, once you you know you you travel and people hear you talk. Where well, you from? The Virgin Islands. Like, wow, man, I was in St. Croix and I went here and you know yeah. everybody just lights up when they hear the Virgin Islands. So I made a note of that. Yeah. Like the Virgin Islands Smiles with me. I got to do something with that. And that's that's where it came from. Just you know people's enthusiasm of just visiting our island. All right, now, as, as someone who's been involved in Grammy Award winning projects, how do you feel about this one? Oh, man, it's up there. It's, 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 I think this is great. I think it's a, um, a new... Don't hype me up. Yeah, it's, it's a, it's <laughs> a really... <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's great, man. I, I love it, bro. I, you know, it's not because I wrote it. This is, you know, one of the things I, I think with my music that I do, I, I try to create music that people want to hear and listen to, right. but also music that will have sustainability. Like when you listen to Bob Marley, mm -hmm. right. I was a kid when Bob Marley put out Rebel Music, and yeah. I hear it today, and it's, it's still bring, you know, it's still bring me that feeling like it's fresh. All right. Now, I, I haven't heard the record yet. Uh, yeah. That's Kish in the Corner's job. That's why she makes so much more money than me. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, but that was what she said. She was like, this is a classic. Yeah. Uh, I, I haven't heard it yet. Um, but she said this is a classic. That's exactly what she said. It's not, okay. It's a timeless record. Yeah. Well, the, we reviewed the lyrics. You know, we reviewed. I did some, you know, research in the history. I reviewed the VI March and you know, Emeralds of the Beach. I borrowed some. You okay. Know, Got I it. borrowed some lyrics um, and verbiage <laughs> right. from a number of sources to kind of give the song, the, the message of the song, mm -hmm. you know, a feel of who we are, Virgin Islanders. You know, there's some Danish components in there. Our African history. You know. You know, beaches with you know shining signs. You know, yeah. so that it, when you hear it, you'll know what I'm talking right. about. And AJ, I mean, that he changed up like you say, a couple words, five words. You know, <laughs> and I, <laughs> but you know, his voice, man, the sound. I mean, his voice just perfect. Now, AJ, let me tell you how I feel about Drake. Yeah. Some people think he doesn't write his songs. I don't care. <laughs> he delivers like the FedEx man. Hey. Sometimes that's all we need to do. Just be the vessel. Did you yeah. deliver? I think so. Were you said vessel? I was said vessel. <laughs> I was said vessel. Yes. Put it this way, Rashidi. Every time you know I play this song for somebody, like even before we get like halfway through this, I like, mean, who's the singer? Oh wow! I said, Man, listen to the song. We can oh, know, who's wow. the singer? Okay, I'm, I'm gonna like, stop Can't you, you right there. The song is like, oh, no, who's the singer? Stop talking. <laughs> He's way too sexy for all this glorification. <laughs> <laughs> he can't take no more of this. <laughs> Welcome to the Virgin Islands. Oh na na. Oh na na na. We connect with paradise. Oh na na. Oh na na na. Oh we, the places we have been, the friendly faces you have seen, on our lives. Before I go any further, can I ask you a serious question? Yes, sir. How does it feel to hoard all this talent for yourself <laughs> while other people can't do anything? Blame God. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> do you feel guilty at all? No. Uh, <laughs> no. All right, so AJ Ventura, <laughs> in case you don't know, is of extortion. Yes, fame. sir. Um, you're a box man. Yeah. Play the keyboards. Keys. Drum. Drums. Sing. Yes. Song right. Yes, sir. And do all of it exceptionally well. I appreciate that. Yes, sir. Audio engineer as well. Yeah. I mean. Not that we're counting. <laughs> <laughs> Your smile is out there, and we welcome you here. Nylas. Oh, na na. Oh, na na na. We connect with paradise. Hey.
International hey. reggae superstar, Pressure Bus Pipe, is in the building. <laughs>